Today's project is uh, repairing the propeller on a whirly gig that was given to me by Todd Empson at Studwalker Whirly Gig. This is not a how-to video. This is just a learning how-to video. Good evening, my friends. Walter here. Cleared off a place on the workbench. And tonight I'm going to begin the process of engineering some repairs on the broke propeller on my whirly gig on the Pewall Par Express. That's what takes the propeller off and carry it over there. For those of you who don't know, I received this whirly gig from Todd Empson out in Wishram, Washington at Stud Walker Whirly Gigs. And I received his whirly gig just fine, but the propeller was broke when it got here. Man did a fantastic job of painting his propellers and painting Norfolk Southern locomotives on there. Here's the nut that holds the propeller on. It's a handmade little emblem for a peaches. That's Todd's symbol on his channel at YouTube. Basically it's just a little carbon of his bird peaches with a nut recessed in the back to tighten the propeller onto the whirly gig. I put it in this bag just so it don't get lost. That would be irreplaceable. I'm good at misplacing things, so we're going to put it right up there in the window. Okay, if you look at this propeller, one blade is completely broke, just hanging by a thread. So we're, we're going to try to engineer some repairs. We'll study the situation a great deal. What I'm thinking about doing, Todd said to impregnate this broken blade with two-part epoxy and just pull it back straight. When it gets pulled back, I'm pretty sure it's going to break. My idea to give this propeller more support, because it has a weak area right in here where it, the blade is not real wide. And knowing me, as clumsy as I am, I'm liable to bump it and break another one of them blades someday. I'm thinking right now, nothing definite, is to cut down into each blade right here. And rather than bend that back just yet, my idea is to to cut the about an inch of this propeller out on all four propellers like a square and what I want to do is to cut a wooden ring not a thick one I got some poplar here that would probably be all right cut a circle that overlaps this small hub Basically, you're putting another hub on it that's bigger. And if you fit it right in that area where I notch it out, the reason I have to notch it out, it, it's wider than, than this hub. But say I went an inch on each side and cut a round wooden circle, I could epoxy it right down in there, put it flat against this hub with a hole in the center for the crankshaft on the pro propeller 
they give me a whole inch on all four pro propellers to put two part epoxy and epoxy it right to the circle that I'm going to cut out. I think that would give it considerable more strength rather than see Todd just sanded it off in a curve. And I could just go with the idea of just gluing this propeller, but I, I like the idea of giving it support. And I think that bigger hub, an inch bigger around, ain't gonna do anything in the world about slowing this propeller down in a good breeze. It'll definitely be stronger. Another thing I could do is when I get my circle cut, it'd be about that big around, I could notch it, put a notch in each four different places it would sit down over there and the circle could just overlap the propeller right here for an inch without cutting it out. One of those options would work and then put the two-part epoxy. I got a tube of JB Weld, Clear Weld, Quick Setting Epoxy, and I got a tube of epoxy or Loctite Epoxy. There's two more tubes around here somewhere, but I can't find them right now. Those of you out there who got some experience with this two-part epoxy, which one do you recommend, JB Weld or? I would imagine they're both really the same thing. Once you mix this stuff, it's going to get hard. You're going to get it pretty quick, so you got to have everything cut out before you ever think about putting any glue. I would have to do the impregnating glue on here at the same time I put the ring on, or else just glue to three of them. Three part epoxy glue to just three these three good propellers. And after it dries for 48 hours, I can take and pull this one in line up against the bigger hub that I'm going to make. And since these will be dry already, I'll be able to clamp it or put some weight on it to hold it up. Right now the good propellers are basically on the table. This one ain't, it's got a gap. So for starters tonight, I think I'll measure. I'm not gonna get a whole lot done tonight other than talk about it. I said about an inch into the circle. The hub is three and a quarter, four and a quarter, five and a quarter. A five and one quarter inch circle would give me a one inch overlap. Let's cut one out and hold it up there and maybe I'll, it'll be more self-explanatory as to what I'm talking about. <laughs> 